Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Um, I know it has been a minute since I did a YouTube video. That's because life has been crazy, dealing with the baby, and we just moved, and now we're moving again. And so we've been just doing a lot of stuff. So I haven't been able to do a YouTube video for a while. So um, I'm doing one now. And I am excited, really, really, really excited about this video. So, firstly, we are going to do an unboxing um, of this notebook. Um, and then I'll do a life update at the end for anyone that's interested. But the main reason I'm here is for this unboxing. Um, this is a Chic Sparrow notebook that I have wanted for a really long time. So originally, um, I just wanted, so this is actually a Siren Odyssey, and uh, originally I wanted the um, buttered rum, like a long time ago, you know, when Allie Brown first showed hers and all of that stuff, um, just like most people I'm sure that watch her videos, and um, yeah, so... I've wanted buttered rum for a few years at least. Um, the only other Mr. Darcy that I've ever had is um, Mr. Darcy in Toffee. You may remember on my channel there's a video that is a review of Mr. Darcy and creme and one other color. I can't remember exactly. But if you've been watching my channel long enough, you'll probably have seen that. Or if you're new here and you found me through that video, I don't know. A lot of people have watched that video, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, um, anyway, in that video, I had a Mr. Darcy toffee. And my biggest problem with Mr. Darcy leather was the inside. It's very scratchy compared to, like, the creme leather. And so I had a really hard time with it back then, but I think I'm um, willing, maybe not just willing, but um, okay with overlooking that. Anywho, um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm willing to overlook the scratchiness of the inside for the character that the notebook will have or will hold or whatever. Sorry, I'm just making sure I'm in frame. I think we're good. Um, so these are just the extras I got with my order. Uh, a five year anniversary card. I did not realize it was their five year anniversary, but that is exciting. I know that they were doing sales and stuff. I asked in the Chic Sparrow group if they would be doing any soon because I have this really bad habit of doing or making a purchase and then a sale happens like the next day <laughs> so anyway um i am really excited about this so i've really been obsessed with leather lately that shows character and ages um this is my new teal for ween which i will talk about towards the end but what i love about this is it's very sensitive so it scratches up pretty easily and I don't think the color is going to change. I'm not sure if it patinas at all, which I don't really mind. I would love if it stayed this color forever. Um, but what I like is the scratches and maybe stains. I don't even know if it stains or not. But anyway, it'll gain its own history in its own way. And I like that a lot. Um, I did have the, um, what is it? Oh, the hummingbird but it was a little too green, um, not blue enough for my taste. And it also, it just didn't scratch or show age or history like I had wanted. Sorry, I'm trying not to shake the camera. If it shakes, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's, me, let's open this because I'm so excited. I've wanted a buttered rum for like ever, and this is a siren. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this notebook. <gasps> it's beautiful. This is so pretty. And I love how it's the edging is done and it's so like subtle. It's like such a subtle fade. Oh, I love this. Ooh, and the inside, it doesn't feel soft 
at least at the least um it definitely feels not nearly as scratchy as my toffee did when i had it so i like that that makes me happy but this leather is beautiful mm. oh it smells good it smells really good okay so this is gonna hold my um planner which currently is in this hand-stitched leather tea cover. Um, but I'm going to take it out right now. I like this cover. I, um, it's a really pretty color. And I love the pocket on the front. But even though it looks like it kind of holds some... Like it does, um, you know, patina and age. And it shows wear and scratches and stuff. Um, just not in the way that I'm desiring right now I guess you could say so anyway I'm gonna take my stuff out and I'll just chat and stuff with you guys while I set this up but I'm probably gonna oh ooh, let's roll my buttered rum really fast before I put all this stuff in there um, yeah so the color is interesting to me. I guess I expected more of a cream, and maybe it's because this is the um, Odyssey se uh, series or collection, but it is a little more orange than I expected, but that's okay with me. So I was hoping, so I guess I should explain. This is a Pocket Plus, um, and I, the reason I chose a Pocket Plus to hold my A6 Stalogy is because I really wanted a folio type of fit. And um, I know that the A6 Traveler's Notebook is not going to give me that because with my planner, I really need it to be lightweight, easy to carry around. Um, with my journal and my sketchbook and all of that, um, I don't mind it being really thick, but I don't always carry that with me. I carry this everywhere I go. So I really wanted a folio type of fit, like I said. Um, so I don't remember. Jennifer Harvey said it's the way that Sam Kelly rolls her leather is the way to do it. And I think that she kind of just like gently goes like this. Um, so we'll just do that. So... Yeah, I ordered the Pocket Plus because it's going to have more of a folio sort of fit. And I didn't order a folio <laughs> because I don't like the pocket configuration. I know um, it's just, it doesn't really have any pockets actually, to be honest. I mean, it's just made to hold your notebook. And as much as I appreciate that, and I understand like the simplicity and all of that, I just wish that... It was, um, had a little bit more, I don't know, room for pockets or something like that. Had some other pockets. I don't know what else to say about that, I guess. So, um, just rolling this. Um, be careful when you're rolling PSA. Um, be careful of the stitching. Be careful, um, just, Jennifer Harvey never recommends that you roll your leather. I will always do it because I just love what it does to the piece. It makes it so soft and um, brings out these really beautiful characteristics that are in it. Um, and it's funny because every time you roll it, it'll probably never look the same as the other times. So that is interesting to me. Anyway, um... I keep losing my train of thought and I'm sorry look how wrinkly it is you guys like I never expected to get a Mr. Darcy that is this wrinkly it's like Jennifer and her team were reading my mind because if you've seen any of my previous Chic Sparrow videos where I talk about creme and stuff like that um, it is my creme is my first love and I love it because of the wrinkles 
and the fact that I got a Mr. Darcy, which is undeniably known to be very smooth, that has this many wrinkles just makes me so happy. I did put in notes. What did I put? I'll tell you the notes that I put, um, just so you can kind of know what to ask for. I did also watch their video about requesting um, what to ask for. Sorry, the baby's touching the camera. Uh, anyway, so I did watch the video about how to order, um, what your order notes and all of that. I'm not making very much sense, but, um, okay, so what I requested is a lighter piece of leather because I wanted, I guess I should have said color-wise, but I wanted a very light Mr. Darcy, um, Odyssey. I've seen some that can be pretty dark once you get into the Siren, the Odyssey collection, and so I didn't want that, um, which is why I canceled my hand rubbing. I did originally request hand rubbing, but once I saw the pictures um, on the buttered rum of what the hand rubbing looks like, I was just not a fan. So I canceled that, and then um, I asked, I said I love striations, scars, etc. So those are my notes. That's what I asked for, and that's exactly what I got. And I'm so happy. Let's see how sensitive it is. I like it. You can't really tell probably on camera. But um, I really like it. Let's see. Okay. I keep making sure I'm in frame, so if I look like a weirdo, that would be why. All right. I have to put this in off camera because I do have my phone number in there. Okay, so I was really hoping to be able to use this jelly cover inside because um, I don't like to have my elastics. Well, I mean, it's not a huge deal having my elastic through the binding, but I just also love this jelly cover. <laughs> Um, but it's a little too tall and it's going to stick out and I think that's going to bug me. Um, so I guess we're not going to use it. I guess I'll just put it on my journal, which is fine. So I'm going to put this in. I am almost running out of pages, by the way. I'm going to need another one of these when it comes to August, I think. Um, I did count because I was trying to decide if I should buy a new one yet or not. I did buy another one, but I decided just to use that one for my journal because my journal was getting crazy thick and huge. So, all right. So, here we go. Um, let's see how it fits. Okay. Okay, I like it. I like this, I think. I was a little bit worried, to be honest, about it because I do know in the Pocket Plus, um, the notebook will always be right up to the edge. Let me show you. So it is going to be right up to the edge of the cover on the top and the bottom. On the sides, there is, I feel like, the perfect amount of room. I just have to decide which elastic I want to use because that's going to make it situated further back or forward in the cover. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the fit. I was worried about it because some people, you know, have just mentioned that they don't like the fit. Okay, yeah, that's better. I like this elastic better. But... For my purposes and what I wanted, this will fit perfect. And also, I use pocket size. I love um, pocket size notebooks. I haven't been using pocket size for quite a while, um, since probably November of last year, because I found Nostalgy. So I was using that for everything. However, um, I have really been feeling like going back to the pocket size, so I really wanted I really liked the idea of getting the elastics are all weird now I liked the idea of getting a um, pocket plus 
because not only can I use it for my A6, but if I ever decide to just go back to using my pocket notebooks, I can. Um, so I just put my, this is from Walmart actually. It looks a lot like the Moleskine. Um, but I put it back in here because in, I did have a previous Chic Sparrow pocket, I think, that I put my like Moleskine notebook in when I had one and it just did not fit well at all. So anyway, I like the idea of having a pocket plus because I can always use that for pocket size um, and I can use it as a real traveler's notebook and usually with traveler's notebooks the only size that I like to have be that chunky as chunky as would fill this up is pocket size um, and still carry it with me just because you know I don't know what, how to explain it this is my brass pen that I recently got, um, which I love with all my heart. So, yeah, this really makes me happy, you guys. I love this. Look at it. It's like so compact and perfect. Um, and I can, my thoughts about the pockets. I got the secretarial pockets. I do keep this with me. Um, I can put it on one of the other elastics now. I'm going to do that off camera because this is my Bills insert and I don't want to be like waving around our Bills for everybody. We'll see how this goes because these elastics obviously are not made for this size of insert. I may just stick it in the pocket like I was doing. Uh, looks all right to me I'll see how it goes with use and I may just put it back in the pocket like if these corners start to bend then I am obviously not gonna keep it in here but yeah so that is my bills I also have this which is for hmm Oh, okay, so it's not going to fit in the in the pocket, so I have to have it on the elastics. This one is a specific loan insert for one of our specific, one of our biggest bills from Care Credit. My husband got some dental work done, and that is our largest monthly payment that we have besides rent. So I have it in its own um, insert because... If we don't pay it off um, by the time it's been two years, then they will add all the interest back to it. I don't know if you've ever had a bill like that, but it's not fun. Anyway, so I have that just to stay up on top of it, make sure we're making more than the minimum, because if we make only the minimum, we definitely won't be done with it in time. Um, Anywho, so that's the other inserts that I keep in here. I just have these paper clips. It's not like I even use them, but whatever. Put that one there, and I'll put this one over here. I thought about... Oh, I'm not even doing this on camera. Sorry, guys. I thought about cutting a slit right here so I could stick stuff in it. We'll see. But, yeah little star. I love the little star just because I just am obsessed with stars lately. And these I was carrying with me just for pretties. This too. Do I even want to? Do I even care? I don't know. We'll keep those out for now. I have my little Dwight poster. Totally inspired by Haley's Handmade Co. She carries one. Um, she puts one in her planner. And I just thought that was the cutest freaking idea, so I made one for myself. It's my own version, though. She has a big version. Mine is small, and I also put the glitter, can you see it? The glitter contact paper on it. Sorry, the baby dropped her toy. Okay, so here we go. Everything is in here. I am so happy with this. That is so pretty.
and I can't wait to use this and um, just see how it ages and seriously okay so let me show you guys my journal um, well, obviously not inside my journal, but um, just the cover and talk to you about life, what's been going on with us, where, what are we doing, all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, if only, if you only wanted to see the unboxing, this is it. Um, I'm done with it. I've got my little notebook all set up here, and I love it. So... Um, if that's all you were here for, that is done with. Now, okay, so, um, I think I probably mentioned in my last video that we moved into this new place, um, we did a couple months ago, I think, I probably talked about it in my last video, but I'm not gonna go rewatch it to see, because I don't really care that much. But, yeah, we just moved into this place, but then my yeah. husband got a job offer in Boise, four hours away from us. So, we are moving again, which is stressful and crazy. Um, and we are, so, he gave his two weeks notice last week. And so, we are packing like crazy and hopefully going to be out of here by next weekend. Um... So that's why I've been a bit absent. Um, so I recently got this um, A6 cover. I sold my Hummingbird cover to get this because this is the leather I actually wanted and I was kind of using the Hummingbird to replace it, I guess you could say. So that's why I have this. And it's just a Speckled Fawns A6 teal horween with a one inch spine. Um, my journal, I just recently replaced it. It will fit just fine with this other notebook from Documented Journey. Um, they fit perfectly in here without anything else. Um, there's a little bit of extra space, but that's just like the perfect amount of space for like tabs and stuff. But I did want to keep this little sketchbook on the go with me whenever I take this places or whatever. I just kind of use this as like random stuff I want to doodle or draw um, is in here like I'm working on this just like kind of randomly right now and I did this a couple days ago I did this and I talked about it on Instagram so it's just like random stuff in here um, this is my new a6 Stalogy that I just purchased and right now it's only got words in it I haven't been doing much because like I said we're packing and this is still empty this is a Timoway River paper insert that I purchased from documented journey and um, this is her sunset cover that I got on it and I haven't yet decided what to do with it if I'm gonna use it as a sketchbook or another journal of sorts or what so I just kind of have it hanging out partially as a space filler partially because I do want to keep it with me because I love it then this is one of those shaker dashboards from Glitzy Trooper. I thought about taking this off. I mean, it's pretty and I like them, but I feel like I kind of paid a lot for these and I don't love them as much as I thought I would, so I might sell them. If you're interested, I also have a cover, an A6 um, notebook cover from her, which I do like. It's just, I don't know. Anyway, if you're interested in this, it has black stitching. Sakura Dreams, and then this is like Enchanted mixed with something else, I can't remember. But they are iridescent and pretty. So uh, if you want to purchase this, head over to my Instagram, Kelsey Creates, and I would gladly chat with you about it. Or comment here, and I can also chat with you. But yeah, so that's what's going on in here. I also have all of these stickers from Art Journal Girl and, oh, did I put them inside the pocket? Yes, um, Art Journal Girl, Documented Journey, um, I think that's all, and a Dutch Bros. Got this one from Dutch Bros that they handed out at our Dutch Bros for Mother's Day. But these are from Art Journal Girl, 
This is from Documented Journey, um, which I love, and I haven't been able to commit to sticking them anywhere. I've thought about putting them on here, but I just don't know about like permanently placing them. I don't know. We'll see. I love them. And I've also thought about putting this Shameless Stickers pocket on the front. Um, I, again, I don't know because then there's no room for anything else. So who knows what I'm going to do there. But I also have this. Um, this is because you can see the pockets through the leather if you don't have something. This leather is pretty thin and floppy. So I just keep that in there. Pictures of my baby who is getting upset. Hey, hey, what's wrong? Here you go. I have my tie guy back in here now. Um, I just love this notebook. Um, I've got an elastic band holding my pen in for me. And it just makes me really happy. I am loving my journaling and art situation. Um, I do talk a lot about it on Instagram if you want to follow me there. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of an update. I've really been a lot more in my journal and sketchbook than I have been in my planner. Obviously, right now my planner is really important because we are moving and all of that stuff, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Lately, I've just really been into journaling and art, all of that stuff. So, um, I also wanted to mention this pen. It is a brass pen I got off of Amazon inspired by Documented Journey. Um, this is very similar to the one she has, but it's not the same brand. I got this one because in the description specifically it says it will patina and age and show wear and all of that because, you know, it's my current obsession. <laughs> so um, that's why I got this brand and I love it. It is kind of heavy compared with like my RSVP pen I was using. Okay, the baby's getting upset, so I gotta go, but, um, so, yeah, I love this pen. I've really been enjoying just sketching and journaling with a ballpoint pen. Um, at first, I didn't really, wasn't really feeling it, but, um, I just kept pushing on, and also, I just like that it's, uh, one medium. You can make a lot of different, um, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Values with it? Stuff like that. So... Anyway, if you have any questions, message me on Instagram. Clearly, you can tell the baby's getting upset, so I guess we're done here. <laughs> Bye, guys.